talk about this stuff that I'm about to talk about. Like, I'll talk about it very briefly. I'm not really authorized to give locations and uh, names. So I'll substitute the locations and names. Upset. Sworn to secrecy. Talk about combat situations. A lot of people out there in the streets refer to themselves as thugs, pants sagging, muttering each other's on the streets. Very fierce, right? But I want most of those dudes, because I met someone when I was in the military, right? Most of those dudes in real combat situations come pussies. So now they're not tells you that they got the experience. They shooting each other. They're killing each other every day. Yeah, but it's a little different in a real combat situation. Mention to a, a, a war zone. Some of the war zones I've been in, right? And um, let me get a, give me a little bit of my background. That's very athletic from the youth. Been in martial arts since age seven. Taekwondo. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Tang Sudo, Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, Aikido. I study all of those parts, right? I'm still in that age seven. It was always, always, always after that. cross country, track, but all with a state, almost from the state center. So when, when I went into the military, the physical challenge was not really much of a challenge to me, right? I went in, basic training, I set a post, I, I, set, a, I, I set a new post record. Most push-ups, most sets, fastest run. I was known for that. And so they put me on fast track. Joe Sargent was actually using me to assist the people that really wasn't that good at PT physical training. Help them make it through the course. They made me a, a squad leader. They're basically training because of my athletic capabilities. And so they say, yeah, 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 you're going to see some action. You're fast tracked. First duty station straight out the um, AIT. I'm in combat. I go to a combat situation, fresh out of AIT at Chevron. I get trained. Now, I'm not, my, my, my initial MOS is a 95 Bravo. I get cross trained. I got cross trained several times in the military. They cross trained me as a door gunner on a UH-60 black hole. I won't tell you the unit, the unit, because some of you will figure out where I was. So we're, we're, we're trained, and I'm training with um, special ops. You call them Green Berets, right? So we're running covert operations in Central and South America, fighting so-called drug wars. I remember once coming into an LZ, it's a hot LZ. We, we, we dropping new off. Special Forces team. Seven men team. We coming into that LZ. The pilots like, we can't, that LZ's hot. It's hot, we're taking fire, we're taking fire. We can hear a couple rounds hit that arm. Um, I'm on a US-60 block hole. I'm laying down suppressive fire. They're repelling from the UA-60. A couple guys got hot, got, got hit coming into the hot LZ. Black Hawk took it. Hits the engine. We're flying back. I'm thinking I'm going to die this day. Imagine this, right? You, you up. A few thousand feet in the sky. 
front and back off of one engine. The black hole has two engines. Your front and back off of one engine. You hear the pilot talking to the other pilot. Damn, one engine's out. You're losing pressure. So I'm thinking, damn, we're gonna die. Now, and the plane is kind of, you know, staggering. So he told me, you, 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 you gotta go lower. We're flying over water. We're flying over water. Now they talking, they talking to me. Hey, um, you, 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 you remember um, what you, you, you're training about? If we, if we crash over water, see one of the training courses, and the special ops that we went through. Because when, when a plane crashes, you're disoriented. So you don't know which way is up. So one of the things that I want in training is that you exhale and you follow the bubbles. Because when the plane hits, you become disoriented like a black hole, cold, deep water. So I'm musing on this day, we're gonna crash. So I'm praying, I don't even know anything about the Most High right now. I just believe in God. So I'm praying, God, if you get me out of this, Myself in this situation again. So we coming in, finally making it back to base. And I hear a pilot talking to the tower. We only got one engine. And you know the the, the, the black hole it taxis in, just like an airplane got wheels on. It's not like the old Vietnam, Vietnam Huey that they used in uh, Vietnam. The Huey didn't have any words. Taxi and then make it in. I said, damn, I'm sorry. You got another so few, A few days later, we got another mission. Mission after mission. Taking fire. Why am I saying this? Because a lot of people in the street. See, it's easy to be in the kind of combat situation you in because most of you are cowards. You'll shoot a man in the back. You'll drive by and you'll hit innocent people, little children. But when you're walking into a real combat zone, so tell them, yeah, they shoot back. I'm telling them, a real combat zone. I'm talking about situations that are what we we're a standoff. Another situation. I give you another situation. Actual war zone, right? Bet my best friend at the time, right? We go in and we have to clear this building. The opposing forces is letting off wires. So you guys, you, you're accustomed to this small arms fight. You got martyrs going off. You got Apaches coming in. Apache gunships, right? You got the Cobras coming in. The sky's lit up like the 4th of July. You're hearing people scream because they getting hit. I'm looking at the man to my right. He getting hit, he, he, he hit in the face blood gushing out. You gotta keep telling yourself it don't mean nothing. You gotta get over there and try to but gotta per perform first aid on it. Automatically. The training is supposed to kick in. When I seen those rounds first came in, I can't even hold you. I said, well, you know, this is what I trained for. This is what I trained for. Mortar rounds coming in. Throw bullets passing your ears. Just sounds going off. But you gotta endure. And on top of that, we have one fluorescent tape to detect whether or not we're in a chemical environment. See, this is a real comeback zone. Not just small arms fire. And you got snipers 
It's already waiting for you to come in. But we gotta clear this building. And there's a sniper up there. And the man to my right, he got hit with sniper fire. I'll never forget, I'll never forget it. White guy named Sergeant House. Upstate New York. He said, yo, T, you gotta go in and take out that sniper. No, no one can see the sniper. Just see the fire coming in. See a flash, but he changes location. Boom, he hit another guy. It's my best friend right there that just took fire. And he's screaming, he's screaming my name to help him. I said, damn, my best friend's about to die. PTSD. Some of the things that I see, man, it's way beyond PTSD, man. See, you dudes in the street, man, you think you no contact, man. It's cowardice to do what you do, and you killing each other. You killing your own, but half of these dudes, when you set them in a real combat zone, and you dealing with gas, nerve agent, how you could breathe. Somebody's gotta be a point man. You see the point man start twitching because he walked into a chemical environment. Someone gotta go gas, gas, gas. Give the warning. Point man is usually the lowest ranking man. He's a guinea pig. You take point. You're expendable. You're, we're all expendable. Anytime you're in, you can't. Did this fire have peaked this? You can't even tell nobody where you're going. You can't tell your wife, no one. But in a mission, you can't. You never talk about it to nobody. Sworn to secrecy. So we 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 had a standoff and we trying to take this building. My man's get hit in the face. AK-47 round. Half of his face blowing up. He's screaming my name. So we go over and put a bandage on. I said, no, it's not that bad. I see, oh, I'm going down, I'm gonna die. No, it's not that bad. It don't mean nothing. I gotta lie to him. Going. Then he started talking about some of my family, right? My mom's. And I'm lying to him. Okay, yo, give me a medic over here. Combat medic trying to make it over there. Now they're not supposed to be shooting at medics. They shooting at the medics. They don't give a damn about the Geneva Convention, man. Geneva Convention, you're not supposed to shoot no medical vehicle. They shoot at the medics, man. It's a real combat right here. Now you gotta worry about the small arms fire. You gotta worry about these mortar rounds. Then I heard Hodge scream out, RPG, coming in. A man blown up in the little pieces, man. Blown up in the little pieces, body. His flesh just, they hit one of their own. His flesh just, like something from a movie. Flesh just blown up in the little pieces. He bought an RPG. The blast was so strong. got thrown at least 10 to 12 feet back. And I'm thinking in my mind, dialing. But then my stronger self came down. I said, yo, yo T, you gotta get up because you acting like a little bitch right now. This is what you was trained for. Give it your all. You don't quit. This is you restrain for. You're going to die. So if you're going to die, then die like a man. Put your boots on standing up. Not like a little bitch right here on your back. So I got up and kept pushing forward. I 
Otherwise, I gotta, I gotta get to the sniper, man. Because he's taking out people. Huh? Managed to get up there. The women need the sniper. Cleared the building. Came in, we took over the building. Flint now. Can't give you all a thing. But the, um, Man that was occupying the building was a damn pedophile. He had all these sex tapes. Him having sex with all these young girls. War as hell, man. War as hell. Another incident. I saw him on the I was in the military because they had me attached that. Another incident. Got on MBGs, night vision cargoes, taking fire late at night, about three in the morning. We driving probably like 45 miles an hour in the tank. Got the infantryman in the tank. Hit a tank ditch. Smitty sitting on the top. He's sitting out of the turret. We hit the tank. Head slam, slams into the tank, in the metal, I go forward, slam into the tank. Everybody, everything thrown around inside the tank, get a tank ditch. He didn't see it, it's too dark. When the tank hit, I got slightly not unconscious. When I came, when I came, when I recovered and came back too, Smitty's on the top calling me. I'm hurt, I'm hurt. I said, T, T, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Uh, so I, you know, I crawl to the top of the tank. Cleaning from the edge a little bit. No bleed. Face got smashed into the wall. What would it take? To the top. He's laid out. When we hit the tank ditch, we hit so hard that the turret broke. The turret broke and it swung around and it hit Smitty in his face. And he, when I get, when I climb to the top of the tank, out the turret, Leaning over, I lay him down on the on tank. His face is crushed in like a piece of plastic. That's my wall. This whole bone. We hit that tank that's so hard. He had on his helmet. But there's no face. It's just a little mouth, mouthpiece sticking out long. Hit that tank that's so hard that the terror broke off and slammed into his face. His face is just mushed in. Like a plastic bottle or something. Like this whole joint right here. It's just pushed in like a piece of plastic. And I'm having a wide at it. It's just real combat. Whole face is just pushed in. This whole bone is crushed in. You got a medevac in front of you. Still ticking. Dealing with mortar rounds, RPGs, dealing with other tanks. Guess what, man? I'm like a lot of cowards in the streets. You sneak up and you shoot someone. 
do a little vigorous shoot back. You know that these people are waiting for you. But so is either them or you. But when you in your mind, when you know you could just walk into a situation, and by the time you smell it, it's too late. Because a nerve agent is designed to shut down your respiratory system. Vomiting, sudden tightness of the chest, causing difficulty breathing, then you're dead. Remember one, remember one, sure. Got exposed and pulled off that RP projector. If you, you, you gotta take that projector, man. Probably need that already. Long ass needle, man. no heart because a lot of these street dudes man they'll bust their gun but they're not willing to take that bullet I was trained for this it's a difference right see that's what you do but a warrior is what I am killing is what a lot of you do meaningless killing killing your own brothers Killing little innocent kids in the street. That's what you do, it's not what you want. It's kind of like someone playing a video game. You play, you play video games. It's just what you do. But it's not what you are. See, a warrior it's who I am. I was trained, all of the training, all the years, I, I remember some of the training, I thought I was gonna die. And I seen people almost die. And I seen someone die in training, get blown up. Cause they told us you gotta train how you fight. So we training with live landmines. I remember once I had to clear these landmines off a beach. Can you imagine the intensity, man? You you have what is known as pressurized, pressurized minds. Then you have what is known as pressure release minds. Well, the pressurized uh, minds, if you step on a boom, walk well, goodbye, baby, you're dead. Blown into little pieces. Then you have what is known as pressure release minds. You put the pressure on them, but as soon as you step off, you're dead, buddy. You're gone. Well, I had to disarm those, man. It's real combat, man. If your mind is not strong, man, this is why so, so many people come back with PTSD and they just can't bear it because they, they reminisce, they think too much what happened back then, they just can't release it. They're always on the edge. This is why it should be very, very selective about where people could pop off these firecrackers and things on the 4th of July. Because there's a lot of soldiers that has PTSD, and that stuff could set someone off. It was funny to you because you've never been to combat. Someone with severe PTSD, those firecrackers could set them off on your fourth and July. Some of the training that I went through, man. Drone proofing, right? And drone proofing, you had to be treading water. And you ex you change your BDUs, the BDUs is a battle dress uniform, right? 
While you're treading water, that means you gotta change your pants. While you're trying, and you gotta unblouse your, your boots. Take your boots off while you're treading water. I'm almost drowning. I think I'm gonna die. And I'm a negative boy. Matter of fact, most so-called black men are negative boy. That means when you hit the water, you automatically sink. So it's exceedingly difficult for me to learn how to swim. Because my body is automatically sinking to the bottom of the water. I'm seeing the white boys, there, they swim like a fish. So I got to do this, man. I got to make it. Ain't no such thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn this or I'm going to die. That's what I have to keep telling myself, man. I'm going to do this or I'm going to die. That's how you train, man. The mission has to be accomplished, man. There's no plan B. Plan A has to work. Yeah, yeah. You, like people think you, you don't know me, man. You don't know where I came from, man. You know YouTube personality, man. You don't know what I see. Dying, man. Clean up bodies. I'm throwing bodies on the back of a five-ton dump truck. Dead bodies, man. People that you know. You put them in a body bag, man. Throw them on the back of a five-ton dump truck and transfer them over to the bowling alley in Mellon Back State side. All this is in your head, man. Be strong to endure that. A lot of people can't overcome that, man. They break down. Man, I could tell when dude, man, he was gone ho. But when those rounds started coming off, man, he ran like a little bitch. But I have to give it up for people that was on my team. Ain't none, nobody on my team ever bitched out. Nobody ever turned back saying, yeah, this is what we was trained for, man. This is what we had. A warrior is what we are. I can say, man, a gamer is someone that play games. It's what they do. It's not who they are. But a real warrior is what you are. So I'm telling you, man, if you ever come in a real warrior, you better come with every damn thing that you got. Because a real warrior, man, is going to give it his all until he's dead. You shoot him, he's going to keep standing up until you eliminate him. We can't stand it. It's real war. You see what I'm talking about? It's real combat. Streets. Gang members out here killing each other. Nonsense. You really want to be a cult killer? Do I put a noble purpose on it? Now, I understand. A lot of these wars are political wars, man. But when you want to combat zone, man. It's you with them. It's you with them. That's what you're going to do. The training is going to kick in, but you're going to die. The training is going to kick in, but you're going to die. War is hell, man. No war is hell. Imagine you're not thinking about the, the thing that I was concerned about most was the chemical warfare because they had they had chemical agents that you didn't know whether or not you was affected with it until it was too late until you saw someone twitch with it. They had what is known as blister agent way back from the Vietnam where your whole body just break out in blisters and killed you and shut down your respiratory system. See, that's war. That's war. That's real combat. Ain't, no, ain't just no small arms fire. You busted a little AK-47. You got mortar rounds coming at you. RPGs. Tanks. And you can't breathe. Because the enemy's that close to you. I remember, I'm going to give you another scenario, right? cleaning this cave. We're clearing this cave, right? And then they, they, there was there was a lot of the um, Muslims that was turning themselves in because it was being
being overthrown. But then there was others that was loyal. I'll never forget this, man. I can never forget this image. This one Muslim came out screaming, Allah, you Akbar, Allah, you Akbar. When they say that, they're ready to give their life. He coming, he running towards the squad. He screams, Allah, you Akbar. One of the squad members hit him in the head. I was shot with bones. He stopped himself with bones. His body just exploded into little pieces. Killed a couple people around him. So you never know what you're up against. They had some of the people in planes and fell your clothes. That was fighting against you. Also, war is hell. So what are you out there, you know, killing yourself? Talking about police killing yourself, killing us. Join the military. They can use you. You say, oh, talk about this country ain't. Well, you still live here. So go and defend your country. What? You want to kill anyways, right? So the de facto will give you a The government will give you a license to kill. Join the, join the army. Get, become infantry. You want to kill? Become a ranger. This is the only talking about. Become a marine. You want to kill? Join 82nd Air Boom. Rapid deployment. You want to be a killer? Stop killing your brothers in the damn hood. And thank you, you tough. Because you drove up on someone. Didn't even know you was coming. And you took his life. Well, they didn't know you was going to come to kill them. Coward. But when you know that enemy's laid out right there for you, and you don't know what you might get hit with, that changes the game. You might walk into a chemical environment. You might walk into an ambush. See, the whole game changed. I've cleared buildings, man. But there was trip, trip wire and stuff in if you don't clear that building, you're gonna take out the entire squad. If you trip over one of those uh, trip wires that's attached to a, a landmark. Claim more mine, man. No fishing wire attached to the prongs on it. You trip over that, it's night. You gotta clear the building. Trip over that, the whole squad is gone. Claymore's gonna take out everything within the 30 meter readiness, man. Dead. Just combat. You wanna bury? You wanna bury for your country? For your country, you don't care about you? No, you don't care about you. That's why you're killing you. So you probably wanna kill me right now. But if you wanna do it, Join the army, join the Marines. Because at the end of the day, this is still your country. You go and kill your own, then go out, get a combat. Make it useful. Stop killing your own. Why do you really need to hit us, man? You're a warrior, huh? So you want to be a warrior. That's what real war is. But real war is hell. Because you don't know what's coming at you. You don't know what's coming at you. Clear building. You clear the building, man. You better go in with every damn thing you have. Because you don't know what's on the other side of that wall. And you better get rid of your fear. You better use your damn fear as motivation to be driven. Because you don't know what the hell is on the other side of that door. So you better go in with everything that you have. And the man to your right and the man to your left is going to become your best damn friend. I don't give a damn what color he is. All that racism. Ain't no such thing as racism, man. And combat. 
when you see your buddy, your, your battle buddy's face blowing up, yeah, you'll, you'll forget the racism real quick. All you guys want to be racist? You know what they need to do? They need to get all the so-called black racists, all the so-called white racists and put them and come back together. And that enemy's coming after you, all that racism stuff. It's going to go out. Oh, yeah, you might be racist in garrison. And so you get out there and you realize, yo, this man to my right and left. My life depends on him, and his life depends on me. You know, there's an aphorism, there's no such thing as a racism in a foxhole. That's sort of insulting. So you want to be a warrior, huh? You want to fuck. You want to military then, go to real combat. I'm not saying you, you can get practice out there. You kill your brother. But what happened when someone shoot you back with weapons way bigger than yours? When you got all of these different things that could come after you, man. When you haven't eaten. When you can't get the food. When you're in the desert. And you got less than a half canteen of water. And they, they telling you, yo, we can't get you any food. Or any water in. It's too hot. The area is too hot. So you on your own. It's just you and your squad. So you want to know combat? You'll find out who your real brothers are then. You guys better wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. What am I saying this? Because they're killing of us amongst each other and need to stop. And you can say, oh, Tyler, that way you're telling me to join the military. You want to be a killer? Do it for your country. I don't give a damn how you say the country treats you. At the end of the day, man, it's still our country. So if you want to fight, fight for our country. You understand what I'm talking about? Weapons are pointed in the wrong, wrong place, man. They're pointing them at each other. In self-defense, defend your country, man. Make it a better place. And you might talk about the politicians and all of that. And you might talk about racism and all of that. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to tell you, man, I've been all around the world. And there's no place in the world like America. No place. That's why so many people trying to get here, and you better start to appreciate what you have. A lot of people talking about going to Africa. Man, I ain't going to no damn Africa. I'm already home. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna move to Central America. Where I been there? And I see what it's like. Panama, it's alright. Costa Rica's alright, but there's a reason that all of those people are coming here. think y'all got it bad, man. Go to one of these countries, man, for a while. You see these people on YouTube lying. Yeah, it's great over here. They, just, they gonna stop lying. I done been there. Go over there and talk about the government. They'll put your ass on a firing squad, man. They'll charge you with sedition. You don't realize you thought, oh, you're complaining. Oh, you're this government. Yeah, you're wicked. You can't talk like that in other countries, man. I've been there. Let me tell you something, man. In the Middle East, what they refer to as the Middle East, right? I witnessed an assassin for the suit. Can't give you a lot of information, man. I can't say no names. But there was a captain, right? And um, he decided to mess with one of those Muslim women. And that woman was married. And they found out. And they stoned both of them. They stoned both of them. So you want to be a warrior, huh? That's what real war looks like, man. Real war looks like you having to clean up dead bodies at the border rounds and all that has actually came in. And you pulling little children's arms and stuff out of cars, man. I've been there to death, man. I'm still standing. Going 
I'm not joking. Cause I see, man. Yeah, I was still with a lot of these dudes, man. That was gang bangers and all of that, man. If your mind's not trained for it, a lot of good dudes that was tough in the street, man, they couldn't handle that real combat situation. So you have, you got to have a certain type of training. And you got to believe that, listen, man, I'm going to do this or I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm willing to not just bleed for this, but die for this. For freedom, man. So I'm going to tell you to stop killing each other. Yeah, yo, 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 talk when the cops kill a so-called black, man. What about you so-called blacks killing blacks, man? Wake the hell up, man. So if you want to fight, then join the damn military. Want to be a killer? Do it in defense of your country. Right? You want to be a killer, right? You're, so you're a warrior. You want to put on a flag? Then go and defend your... So tells the dog, this flag has betrayed me. What make a difference? Let's start at home. Why don't you first stop killing yourselves? You're a demented people. Curses of the boring and man, Deuteronomy, man. So you want to be a warrior, huh? I'm going to wise up, man. This is what I know, man. Every time a so-called white police officer, not that I'm justifying it, guns down a black man, the media's pushing it out there. Listen, man, we're killing these others in these so-called hoods every day. Won't you check that, man? When you start showing love for yourself, maybe they will stop killing you. You hate me right now. Because I'm cutting you with the truth. So you want to be a warrior. Man. Be a warrior for your country. You don't give a damn about what you're saying or your political status. At the end of the day, you're an American. And so if you can kill, do it. So... Right now you're killing You're the number one killer of the time. That's a defensive Your excuses of why you don't want to join, but you are how you take it lives, man, and just like real life. So as long as you look like me, life doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that white police officer. Killing yourself, man. What are they doing? Same color, man. When you bleed, I haven't seen nobody um, bleed yellow blood yet. Skin, maybe different colors externally, but when you cut it, same color blood is coming out. Get your mind right there. Stop killing each other. Maybe your own respect. You don't need to hear this, right? You don't need to feel this. 
the spiritual sense. Ain't no warrior. You're doing cowards too. You're going to initiate innocent people for a gang initiation. Get in combat arms. Then infantry. Really want to go become a ranger? Your mind's strong enough, you can make it. Hell Week's gonna knock most of you out. Ninety-nine percent of you are not gonna make it through. What make it through Hell Week? Your mind. See, first you gotta train yourself by hand. If you're not training by hand, you're gonna break. You're gonna break up the fight. You're gonna break. Most of you don't have the discipline that's required to make you do something like that. You know why? Because you're emotional like a broad. That's why I see a lot of gold men took their pictures. You can tell other people who's doing it. Wait a minute. Things get hard, man. The morale. Wow goes way down, man. You out with a bunch of men, man. You out in the desert. Short on MREs. Short on water. The morale goes way down. Now you're really being tested. This is when your trainers supposed to kick in. Everything you got, you gotta come on everything you got. That's what you was training for. You're a warrior. This is a true warrior. He ain't gonna quit. He's not gonna quit. You, you was trained not to quit. You was trained to die. You don't fear death. Ain't nobody ever been around in my squad or anything fear death, man. I seen men die and none of them fear death. I didn't see no fear in their eyes. A lot of you tough guys in the street, man. You'll shoot someone, but you fear death. You fear being shot. It ain't no real warrior, man. That's a coward with a gun. That'll go and smoke someone else. You creep them. Because you know they won't have the opportunity to fire back. But if you're walking into a real combat zone and you don't know what's coming at you, that's a whole different paradigm, man. You dig? I'm gonna fight you on the military, man. I'm not big up in the military, but I'm telling you to stop killing your own, man. You understand what I'm saying, Nefertali? You know what I'm saying is right, man. They have flying flags and all of that, man. We dying in the streets every day. Oh yeah, yeah, they killed Jalen Walker. Well, how many you killed? Yeah, Tyler Dog, well that's between ourselves. You, you ain't me if you killing me, man. How you one of me? Check out how ridiculous that is. How you one of me? Yeah, 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 well, that's something we gotta decide between. You're not one of us if you're killing us, man. Because you're the same color doesn't make you my brother. Because my brother wouldn't be killing me, man. That's why you call yourselves the N word. Because it's easy to smoke the M1. But when you say my brother, my up, that carries an entire different thing. You understand what I'm talking about? So it take a lot of love, man, to get us out of all of this stuff, man. This is, uh, man. All the racism in the country, man. We still got racists out here, man. We're gonna come together, man. There's some benches in the power, man. Just put you behind bars because you don't understand war. They're killing you with cancer from the foods that you're eating. Brother Cody was telling me today, man, about a six-year-old, man. Liver's already destroyed cancer in the food, man. 
Why do you act with the rage? You keep using this toothpaste with fluoride in it. Smoking this um, marijuana and then justifying it. Listen, man, the most I never told you to use that that way, man. And this is not medical advice. I'm not no doctor. Me, I don't listen to doctors. Why? Because the doctors doesn't live any longer than the patients. Therefore, I can't take the doctor's advice because they're nothing but a chemist. They're going to recommend you to Big Pharma. I don't need that. You understand what I'm talking about? The Most High gave us the herbs for all of that, man. So I need there's an herb out here. And again, this is not medical advice. It's the truth. To heal everything that we... We, we, any kind of condition that we come across, unless it's some sort of bone um, fracture, something like that. The Most High gave us everything that we need, man. And when you start to teach it to people, they will take you out like Dr. Sebi. Put your mind right, kid. Put your mind right, friend. Two most important things that you could ever learn. You could run my hand on this check. You wanna know about herbs, man? Ask the general y'all should be. You wanna know how to clean your diet up? Ask the general y'all should be. He got you. you wanna lose weight correctly? Ain't that you need over here, man? Come on, Lord. Foreclosures, student loans. These are the two most important things that you could actually possibly need in life. You can learn on this channel. And this channel don't have a million subscribers yet because most people are stupid. I said it. You waste your time on frivolous things. Talking about what happened in the hood. Man, you guys are clowns, man. And this is why you're still broke. You go and listen to these dudes talking about what happened in the hood, and at the end of the day, they getting paid, they getting rich, because you in words are listening to nonsense, and at the end of the day, you laugh. You're intrigued by it. You're intrigued by violence, and then you're still broke at the end of the day. They're glamorizing what happened in the hood. Oh, yeah, this is why I got in prison. Like, that's a badge of honor, man. Yo, your minds are off, man. Your spirit's off, kid. Get your mind right. There's a real remedy over there. I change people's lives, man. You don't want that until it's too late. This channel should have already had a million subscribers, man. It shows you how people are just locked in the matrix and stuck. Then you come over here when you're already in trouble and wanna make me act like a damn sorcerer, like I'm merely a magician or something. Man, I'm not into that. Ain't thing I do is through the spirit of your poor white and blue shit, man. The hell about the shit, man. Buy shit. The channels like this, man, they're not pushed like that. You understand? Why? Because this. This kind of channel teaches you how to get them out of your pocket and keep them out of your pocket. It teaches you to stand as a man, to stand as a womb man. It's right now, it's for real by him, man. The truth won't make you mad. Let's get your minds right, man. You want to be a warrior? Make it for a noble purpose. Stop killing your own because you look stupid. Go out and kill your own, then you brag about it. No conscience, heartless. Damn. You got blacks killing blacks. You got cops killing blacks. You got the system killing you. Killing us all with genetically modified foods. You got our women throwing us in prison.
listen to this a few times. Is that? It's felt, it's felt talk right here. You want to be a warrior? Join the military, man. Stop killing your own. Drill music. You listen to a song, you go out and you smoke your brother, but you keep it on the low and you brag about it. Join the damn military. Where your heart at? You're doing it. But when you know someone's shooting back, you're doing it. You're doing it. Think about it. Now with that, y'all, I'm going to say shalom, man. Tune into the Bible study tonight at 8.30. The channel of the true disciples of Christ. Share this video, like this video. Like it even if you don't like it, because I know it come a lot of you, man. So you want to be a warrior, huh? Think about what I said, man. It's for the real warrior, this, man. Go join the military. Where your heart at? See some real combat. Shalom, peace. Two fingers. Mama.